how to plant huckleberry in the garden or in a raised bed. Hello everybody, welcome to 7 Series Garden where we talk about gardening, ways to save money and other special events. These are huckleberry seeds. Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to plant huckleberry. Huckleberry is a type of uh, vegetable that's found in some tropical areas um, and we're gonna plant it in this raised bed so I just took out some potatoes that I planted on this bed now I'm gonna I'm gonna plant the hockey berries should be able to at least harvest harvest it once or twice before the uh, winter cold season starts so I'm just gonna plant it so what you want to do is uh, since we already um, grew something in this bed we want to make sure we provide it with nutrients for it to I'll be able to sustain and grow this better so what I what I, I already did was I put in um, I put in like two or three tablespoons of organic uh, fertilizer garden tone and I also put uh, two or three tablespoons of bone meal bone meal is, has a lot of nitrogen which is good for the leaves and uh, leafy vegetables so we, we've already done that so we're gonna what we're gonna do next is I'm just gonna add some compost to it uh, once I add the compost, I can uh, mix it up, then we can start planting. So just, just mix up our uh, compost here. So you just mix, mix in the compost. You can use a shovel or a hole or a rake or anything. You can just use your hand like I'm doing right here. Just use your hand to mix it in. Since we planted potatoes here, I had to dig out uh, all the soil in order to plant, um, in order to harvest the potatoes. So right now I'm just, uh, so we don't need to dig that deep because all the soil is soft now because we, Took out all the potatoes that were in there so uh, so we're done with this now so there are a couple of ways that you can plant um, you can, can plant you can plant them from seeds you can just sprinkle the seeds um, in here but I knew that I was gonna be able to uh, be planting it over here so I started like uh, a week and a half ago I sprinkled the seeds into this container right here and so that way by the time I take out the potatoes uh, these will be ready for me to transplant into the into the bed so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, take them out and just transplant them individually so there are different varieties of uh, huckleberry but these ones are the big leaves ones so all we need to do is just pull them out like these and then you want to plant them um, because you uh, Huckleberries, we're gonna once we cut out the leaves, the uh, the the stem is gonna branch out and gives you more leaves. So you wanna make sure that you give it a lot of a little bit of space for it to be able to branch out and be able to get more leaves and more branches. So uh, I'll say plant it about um, about five to seven inches apart, so that way it has a little bit more space for it to spread and to uh, for the leaves to occupy uh, the area around it. So what you want to do is just pull out one, one, one of them at a time like this, pull it out like that, and then you want to just make a little hole and just put it in, and then you close it. So here on this row, I'll put like three of them, and then I'll go that way, that way it's a little bit in order, and it's as close to a row as you can get you know, it doesn't have to be in a row but you just want to maximize the space that you have so I'm gonna do the same for this one give it, give it about five inches or more pull the next row like this I want to do the same so I'm gonna go here, just take out one, like this, just take, 
and just put it in like that. I'm gonna go here. This one, uh, let's put that there like that. This one you can go in between them and just put a small one like this. That's fine. Go here. Just put it in and close it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly um, five inches or six inches. You just want to make sure you give it a little bit of space. I'm just going to come over here and put one or two over here so that way it's still, it's not too space uh, out so that I can use as much of the, um, the raised bed as possible. So it doesn't have to be exact, but, um, just so that you have have it covered and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna water it and we should be good to go so whenever you plant anything you want to make sure you water it I, I usually soak it well so that way the roots don't dry out very fast and the roots are able to adapt to the new environment and start uh, taking in water or nutrients as soon as possible so we're just gonna make sure we we water all the whole um raised bed make sure it's soaked you can also use water soluble fertilizers to feed the uh, plants so that it does better i usually do compost tea but you can use miracle grow or any other water soluble organic fertilizer uh, to water it regularly i said every two or three weeks should be fine any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below i'll try to answer as many of them as possible um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all new videos thanks for watching and happy growing